Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So, Fear the Walking Dead, episode 9, season 7, episode 9, is up on AMC Plus now, as well as episode 10. Um, episode 9 will be on regular TV later today, so spoiler warning if you haven't seen it. And I'm going to be doing my episode 10 review later today. It won't be up this morning. I'm going to catch the video after I upload this video. Or I'm going to catch the episode after I upload this video, but I'm going to get the... Uh, video review up later today it is easter happy easter to any of you guys that are celebrating and yeah just so that way i can get some sleep before that and yeah just a reminder if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing we're going to be covering fear the walking dead every week as it comes out as well as any other walking dead and all that stuff so yeah let's uh jump right into it so th this episode was was different but so has in season seven of fear if you remember back um i do have a playlist with all other episode reviews you can check that out on the channel but um out of nowhere alicia's somewhere that we're not familiar with and we get in the introduction of the new character paul who like connie in the walking dead is also deaf but he's a musician he was a musician and really the rest of his hearing went when the when the bombs went off and that's also how he lost his wife so we kind of got that backstory there but the main main thing about this episode was alicia coming into the own of becoming a leader or believing in herself to become a leader um we know she was hearing voices on who she wanted to follow when we did see her in the beginning part of the season and basically paul is the one that kind of told her that maybe the voice in your head is yourself you shouldn't be drawn out because he also has voices in his head he doesn't want to hear because his wife was talking on the walkie as the as the bomb was coming down and that was the last things he could hear before he lost his hearing completely and we also know that um alicia went to ask arno who was that other group from the bunker to see if they would help take the tower but obviously arno is not happy with her and at one point even tries to feed her to the walkers of the people that apparently she got killed and trying to lead them to padre but like there was very little morgan in it even though he did show up at the end which i mean i'm a fan of morgan so the more i can see of him personally the more i'm happy about it but yeah so aren't like how do i want to say it arno arno ends up like giving paula walkie talkie after she was like she was hiding out at the house and alicia ends up saving him by breaking breaking a radio like you know and just kind of little play by play and I just thought it was really, like, they just had a lot of interesting dialogue. And we finally get to know a little bit more of why she was so obsessed with getting the Padre. But now what it's coming down to, kind of like when we were all theorizing if Padre was real or not. And it might be. It might be real. But Padre is kind of like Asgard. It's not a place. It's, like, the people that take it up. So, like, now we're getting to the realization Alicia wants to wants to make a place like padre she's going to end up going back to the bunker getting on the um transmitter and seeing what people she can gather up and morgan supports the sea trust her he's going to let her do this but finally like she kind of opens up and she said like you know i've always had strong people they've had their dreams i've always had strong people i never thought to listen to like my own voice but now i'm going to and she referenced nick she referenced madison she referenced morgan and some very very strong characters on fear so far i would have liked for a mention of travis there was moments that travis was really cool i've kind of like babbled with some clips of old fear of the walking dead and although it's not like wasn't the greatest there was some really good stuff in early fear of the walking dead in my opinion but um yeah so we got alicia getting ready to go talk to these people and then like the kind of bombshell at the end like there isn't a whole lot for me to break down at least maybe i'm too sleep deprived to catch some of the stuff but um we do know there's going to be a three-way war for that tower because um, when they were defending, when uh, Paul was defending Alicia, she sh he shot um, Arno's hand, and they're going back to their camp to get it fixed up, but then they stopped, and there's a crater from one of the bombshells that went off, and it's filled with toxic walkers. And we're talking, like, whisperer horde level, like, herd of what radiation walkers and if any of those like those kind of walkers can contaminate you like quickly and like we are so i think arno i believe arno said like yep we're gonna have to take the tower for ourselves so there's about to be a three-way war for that 
we still have Alicia dealing with all these fevers and passing out. There was this like mysterious younger character that apparently has been saving Alicia. So eventually this season, I'm sure that's going to be revealed who that is. And I'm kind of curious if that has any links to Madison, knowing that Madison comes back this season. So yeah, I'm, I'm really hopeful Madison comes back sooner than later, even though I kind of, if I had to guess, it'll probably end up being the last two episodes or, you know, something of that nature. I really hope it's like, in the first four episodes, get some. Madison was such a fun character, and it would just be really nice. And I also have worries that Alicia may die soon in the Fear of the Walking Dead, and I want them to have as many scenes together as possible since Nick ain't around to have scenes with Madison. And yeah, I don't know. That's kind of all I got for you guys right now. It's a little bit quicker one. I'm gonna see. Like, it was a cool episode, but it also I think the reason that they're dropping two episodes on AMC Plus is to help some people that are like more diehard that get get into it a little bit more I feel like there could have been more it was a little bit slower i didn't hate it didn't love it it was cool it was really good to see uh another episode focused on alicia when there was only like one in a little bit of the other episode from the first half of the season it was really good getting a bunch of alicia really would like to see some Madison. don't expect that for a little while though i would love to be proven wrong on that Anyways, let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Um, let me know if you guys have already checked out episode two in the comments. Like I said, the video for that will be up later today. I'm going to watch the episode before I go to bed, and I'll take care of that sometime in the afternoon. So thank you guys for watching. Also, with that being said, I'm not going to do um, a little promo breakdown for episode 10 because I'm going to basically jump right into watching it. So the promo breakdowns, will I'll, I'll do my first one for 11. We'll say that will be up Monday or Tuesday. That's should give me plenty of time yeah thank you guys for watching subscribe if you're new to the channel and let me know what you guys thought about the first episode of this part of fear the walking dead take it easy peace